PLC fiddles timers. All right. Um, I highly suggest for your homework assignment that you guys actually come in here and make it so you can actually like click and see when things are turning on and off. And it basically makes it idiot proof. I'm not gonna call it actually idiot proof, but it basically makes it idiot proof to do your homework assignment because you're seeing things happen live, things changing. All right. However, to do this, first throw away the default system. We don't we don't need it at all. Just gone. And then I'm gonna get rid of all these. We'll leave a start button. And then we're gonna make our timer. And under Boolean, instead of having Boolean, you need to make that say timer. All right. And you're going to go ahead and hit add. Now we can go ahead and put our start con uh, contact in. So our start button. And then we can go ahead and go to timer count. And then there's our different options for timers here. On delay, off delay, retentive. So we're going to go ahead and throw our on delay one in. And we're going to select our timer. Now let's just big biganize this for you guys. Now you're going to go... Where is all the information for the timer? Where is how long is it? Where is if it's enabled? All that fun stuff that's missing, right? Well, if you click the little drop down arrow next to timer over here, you can see all that information all of a sudden shows up. So we can set our preset. Now, if we want to look at my homework assignment, I told you guys to use five seconds. Now, trying to answer all of these in five seconds is not going to work very well. All right because even flipping back and forth, you're gonna miss the half second intervals of what's going on. So instead of five seconds, I highly suggest that you guys go to more like 20 seconds. So you'd come down here to the preset, you'd make that, or I'm sorry, not five, 50 seconds. That way everything's just a, a multiple of 10. So now instead of every second, you have five seconds to enter everything. You see where I'm going with this? Makes your life a little bit easier. So now you can click the start button and you can go, oh wait, wait, zero seconds. What is everything? Zero. Zero. And then if we actually, go, again, go back to my Excel file here, at 0.5 seconds, we turn it on. So at zero, everything should be, oh, oh man, I deleted too much. I, de I deleted too much. Go back, go back. There we go. So you can see at zero, se uh, with you know, zero seconds, buttons not pressed, everything's false. All right, now if we assume right after zero seconds, that 0 0.001 milliseconds, we assume I press the start button. You can see enable timer timing queue is true. So we can go back and we can go one, one, zero. And now hopefully 10 seconds, both are still true. So you guys can see how you can kind of, you can kind of jump back and forth as long as you're better with your typing than I am right now and actually make things, you know, you can see what's going on exactly when, all right? Um, now, remember, you know, you have to keep track of your time. So 50 seconds here is a lot longer than, you know, what I have in my document. So it's again, every 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you know, those types of things. So just kind of keep your eye on that. I have it set to five seconds as a more real world answer, but if you want to make it 50 seconds instead of five, so you have 10 times as long to enter answers, I am all for that. All right. Um, but that's overall your homework. Once you're done this, you're going to upload it back to D2L. There's a, a link for you to upload that assignment. All right. Um, yeah, you have to download it from the uh, materials and then assignments section. So you go to materials, assignments, and then here you will see the three different Excel files. There's the on, there's the off, there's the retentive. You guys only need to do the on and the retentive for next class. And then we're going to do the, we're going to talk about off delays next class. Maybe two classes out. We'll see how you guys are doing. Yes. Uh, so my next class on and retentive. Yep. And D2L should say that. We fill the graph out the five seconds or the full 10 seconds? So you're going to fill the entire graph out that I have. So, yeah, if you look at my graph, I have it got the 10 seconds for a reason because there's five seconds of it being on and, you know, you turning the button back off at points. So I want to make sure that you're actually understanding that, oh, if I take power off, what happens? And then on delay, you lose your count. So then it starts back over again. So I have my reasons why it's, it's going to 10 seconds. All right. Questions? No. Someone turned this in already. I highly suggest you redo it. Whoever turned it in, I really don't remember who. So I'd suggest you go back and redo it with a PLC fiddle. 
All right, so that's a roughly PLC fiddle and your homework assignment.